Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Today we are going to see a list box in vb.net, sp.net, okay? We are making an sp.net, a simple sp.net application and we want to see how to use a list box actually, that's our aim. We want to see how to add, how to update, how to uh, delete and how to clear data from that particular list box. So, this is what I'm talking about actually. For instance, I come right here and type, you can type, when I click, the data gets added, like, you come here also, uh, add more data, you can see my data uh, gets added to my particular uh, list box control. So, this is what we are going to see. Now, uh, what about if that is adding, what about if you want to update? Like for instance, I choose this one, then I come, I tap here, like what I want to update it with. If I, you can see, it gets updated. If I want to update uh, this other one, I can come here and type whatever I want to update it with, and it gets updated. For deleting, I simply select the item I want to delete, then click delete, the item gets deleted. Now for clearing, uh, if I click clear everything, the whole list box get cleared. It's that simple guys, uh, join me, we'll get started. As I've said, this shall be a vb.net uh, application, sp.net web form site, okay? So what to do, si please simply uh, go to file, new website, then right here, come and select sp.net web form site. Then right here, type your name, uh, type the name of the project, then click OK. It shall generate for us uh, a sample with the, it shall generate for us a sample application with uh, some template okay we're not interested in those contents so you can just delete them just select each and every one of them and then delete them now from your toolbox just uh, drag a list box here and add it right there then also drag a text box uh, from your toolbox text box right there add it then four buttons of course add update delete and clear button now once we've done so we shall start with the add button actually uh i've just pre-designed mine to save us a little bit of some time okay so uh i don't know why this one is getting select then i just come for instance for your add button just I double click it, it shall generate for us these particular events that we're going to handle. Now add, delete, update, and of course uh, clear. So if we can start with clear, clearing is very simple. Uh, it's just a one line code, piece of code. So just come and say a list box, list box one, uh, dot items. Then we just call it clear uh, method. That's enough. That shall clear for us our list box. And of course, uh, once we've cleared our list box, just to give the user the visual feedback that we've cleared, we can now also clear our name txt. So just have their name txt dot text. We're just going to set it to blank. That's enough. Now uh, let's come to our add add a uh, button. When that button is clicked, what we're going to do, we're just going to say Alice Books one dot items. Then we're going to call the add uh, method. Now for the add method, of course, what we want to add is what the user shall have typed in our name txt. So just come and say name txt dot text. That's what of course we want to add into uh, our list books. Once we've added, obviously we have to clear. Uh, our name txt text box so we shall just come right there and paste it right there name txt dot text we just set it to blank now for updating updating is very simple when you want to update the first thing we get the position that we want to update then we remove the item at that particular position once we removed the part uh, that item now we insert a new item into that position that's basically uh, what updating is so first we get position of the item to do that one we're going to store it inside an integer that i'll call pose 
as integer equal to uh, no list box one a uh, list box one then we want to get the selected index so dot selected index okay once we've gotten that shall give us the position we remove uh, the item from that particular position to remove that item we just call a list box uh, one uh, dot items then we call it remove it now with the remove it we only need to pass the index of the item and then it gets removed after that one of course we are going to insert now uh, to insert uh, we are going to call the list box uh, list box one uh, dot items okay then we call its insert method insert method shall require two parameters first the position in which you want to insert the item and of course uh, the particular object that you want to insert in our case is just a text that's what we're going to insert inside our list box now after inserting of course uh, we're just going now to clear our txt name txt just to uh, give the user visual feedback and that's it now that's for updating what about for removing for removing in fact we've just done right here we just copy paste this code first we get the position of the item then we remove the item at that particular position guys that's it uh, let's run our project uh, very fast and have a look okay And here is our sample uh, application. Now, uh, if I want to add, I can just come right here and start a type. Click add the item. You can see it uh, gets added uh, to our list box. Okay. So we can add as many items as we want. We simply type them. Take note that normally this is sp.net uh, waveforms control. These are normally executed at the server. So that's why you see uh, the thing has to refresh first, okay? These things are getting executed at the server, so uh, that's it. Now, what about if you want to update? Now, for instance, if this is the one that you uh, want to update, like I can come right here and type, then click update. Uh, you can see it gets updated very well. If it is this one, you can just come click update, it gets updated. Now, what, what of deleting, we simply select the item that we want to delete. Then when we click delete, the item gets deleted uh, from the uh, from our list box. If we want to clear everything, we just click clear, btn, then uh, the everything gets cleared. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you have, uh, just hit the subscribe button, okay? Uh, you can like this video, you can share it with friends and family and take care. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.